So that's a scene from Italian shockmeister Dario Argento's 1996 film, The Stendhal Syndrome. The movie dares to ask the question, can a beautiful painting really make you faint? <laughs> Long before Asia Argento fainted into Peter Bruegel's landscape with the fall of Icarus, 19th century French writer Stendhal described this very experience, minus the fish mooching, of course. While visiting Florence, Stendhal's eyes fell upon Giotto's frescoes and later wrote, I was seized with a fierce palpitation of the heart. The wellspring of life was dried up within me, and I walked in constant fear of falling to the ground. Of course, we didn't start calling it Stendhal syndrome until 1989. That's when Italian psychiatrist Graziella Magarini, who worked for over 20 years at a Florence hospital, Hospital, identified and named the condition in her book, La Syndrome di Stendhal. She called it a complex crisis affecting persons whom she described as not intellectual, but sensitive and easily susceptible to emotions, and who succumb to the glorious art, history, and culture of Florence, Italy. Stendhal syndrome can result in giddiness, a sweaty state of confusion, and yes, even hallucinations. But Florence doesn't have a monopoly on brain-seizing historical attractions. In 2000, the British Journal of Psychiatry identified Jerusalem syndrome, in which religious excitement induced by the city's holy sites causes sudden psychosis. Now it's important to note that as many as 80% of those suddenly psycho pilgrims have a history of psychological problems. We're talking the sort of messianic ramblers you encounter in Monty Python's The Life of Brian. Still, a small number of Jerusalem Syndrome sufferers experience this agony and ecstasy out of nowhere. They're typically intelligent Protestant tourists from the United States or Western Europe. Similar reactions have been reported among Islamic pilgrims to Mecca. But let's get back to Asia Argento and all that fish smooching. Can fantastic art stir the loins? In Indeed, the Roman Institute of Psychology recently christened the term Rubens Syndrome to describe spontaneous erotic outbreaks during or after viewing the works of the old masters, particularly the often nude paintings of Peter Paul Rubens. All of this boils down to a simple fact. Travel is stressful, especially international travel. Suddenly you're in a strange new world, awash in a different language and culture, your diet and water intake is likely disrupted, and bam, then you glimpse a painting or a building you've traveled half the world to see. So keep that in mind on your next trip to Florida. Florence, Jerusalem, Mecca, or good old Graceland. So what about you? Have you ever felt an intense physical reaction to a work of art? If so, which one? Mine is El Haleo by John Singer Sargent. What about you fainters out there? Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.